Yeah, man, turn that shit off. Man. What to do, world? This urban access. We back. Make sure you uh like the episode any way you can. You can subscribe and like if you're listening on Simplecast. It's a subscribe button under the photo. Hit that. You know what I'm saying? Flat out. Make sure you uh follow us on all social media platforms and YouTube. The podcast will be now coming out on YouTube. Whole episodes. I feel like the world been waiting long enough. True. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a little more work, but you know, it's all good, man. Hell yeah. Ain't nothing too much work for what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? You got room for improvement. All day. No, uh, no no's. Everything is yes, yes. Flat you, out. You do. If it got to be done, it got to be done. <clears throat> Uh, phone mm-hmm. phone number still coming soon. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, let it make it through this goddamn wedding and shit. You they know pro- they probably forget. Yeah, yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Cash out giveaways and shit. They coming. They coming. Just let me get through this uh this personal moment in a nigga life. Yeah, you yeah. dig? And then uh, you know what I'm saying? We will get right back to throwing everything in it. You dig? Hell yeah. Big Zeke ain't here. Part in attendance. That nigga say, uh, he, uh, making the platinum album. Okay. For the streets. My nigga say, well, you gotta go go first. You gotta go go. You gotta go go to get to platinum. Yeah. Flat out. But if you go straight to platinum, they don't never recognize the goal. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man. And then we recording this on Saturday, too, so. Yeah, no. Really? Kind of, you know, because Father's Day tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Niggas got festivities, and uh, that's just how it be. But uh, Ski was popping. Sheesh. Father's Day weekend. Right. Father's Day month. Father's Day month. Yeah, Type get it off. right. Get it right. Uh, shit, chilling. Got the girls. It's been human as a motherfucker uh, these last couple of days, but we can't Why complain. Oh, yeah, it's been hot, man. I'm loving it. I ain't going to stunt you. I'm loving All it. All that damn rain we had for about a week and a half. Yeah, I'm loving it. Yeah. Straight up. The streets is calling. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers still wearing their masks, though. Oh, uh, man. They trying to say the coronavirus cases is going up. <sighs> nigga, we man. rode past all the boys last night, nigga. All of them had niggas in them. Man. That's boy. Niggas do not get no damn about no social distancing. Oh I'm man, happy sure. Juneteenth too, man. Belated. Yes, Let's sir. not forget that Juneteenth. You know what I'm saying? The day that we uh got out of slavery. Everybody say free. I don't want to say free. I want to say it's the day we got out of slavery. But uh, cause we still ain't free. So that's a message yes. right there. Yeah, but you know, happy Juneteenth. Niggas was out celebrating. You know what I'm saying? I like seeing all the posts from the people. I just would love for everybody. And our community just, you know what I'm saying, just keep celebrating on that day and not do nothing on the 4th. Yeah, and we need to make it a, uh, we need to make it a national holiday too, man. For real, because all my peoples that was out, I saw said I was going to fuck with my coworker, uh, Brandon. I seen he, him and his, uh, his young bull, they was out popping fireworks on the block. I was going to tell him, all right, I bet not see you on the 4th out there. Nah. But I know he get it in with his young bull, so they probably choose to do something else on the fourth. You know what I'm saying? Get educated. Get educated. You know what I'm saying? One on one. For all the kings, young kings out there, shout out to the kings. Stay woke. Because uh, they want us to, you know what I'm saying? They want us to sleep. But uh, Yeah, they want us to sleep. United we stand. We just got to be strong. Fuck the weak. Be yeah, strong. man, when you see your brother, man, tell him what's up, man. Flat out, hold the door for a brother, man. When you see a brother, tell him what's up, brother. Like, stop walking past other brothers, man, and uh, not speaking, man. Right. I feel like some niggas need that. Yeah. In the nutshell, motherfuckers do. Ain't nothing wrong with it. That's just like a female saying shit. They don't mind complimenting other women. You know what I'm saying? On their appearance or what they got on or what they smell like or whatever. It's, that's, a, that's a norm to them. Right. Yeah, my brothers, we just got to, we just got to get acquainted with more, you know what I'm saying, we're doing it more, that's all. 
We do it sometimes. We just got to do it more. Yeah. So. Definitely got to do that, man. Practice make perfect. Straight up. Uh, What the week do, man? Shit? Chill? Work. Work, 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 work. Oh, man. Ski almost got bit by. Ski got bit by a dog, dog. That nigga got bit, man. Who Tell him what happened, dog. dog Girl, I Who ain't even think about that. Out? I was at work, too. And then you was on the was... clock and got bit by a dog? Nah, I ain't get bit. That motherfucker jumped up on me, though, and I had to get him up off me. Nigga, you got. Boo, was at, Boo said, I think it's my. I feel bad. I think it's my fault. <laughs> I had. You know how I am, nigga. Man, oh, this I, nigga. Ski got scars on his on his motherfucking uh torso, nigga. That look like motherfucking. He got attacked by a bird, nigga. What's your profanity? Deep bruises. This nigga got hands on cuts on his hands, nigga. Nigga, what the fuck, bro? You got bit by a dog. Felt bro. like pops. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight up, bro. Straight up, I was, man. I mean, you know how I am about you know what I'm saying. Open doors since we it's Father's Day weekend. That's a good segue. Boo, I always tell her to hit me, you know what I'm saying, when she pulling up, come out there, you know what I'm saying, it's world too small, motherfucker. these young niggas out here, you know what I'm saying, it's too much going on, so I like to be a gentleman at all times, you know what I'm saying, at the safe haven. So I go out uh, to take a basket out to the whip for her, so I just took a quick little break, that wasn't gonna, it ain't take shit but five minutes. Right. So I take the basket out to the whip, you know what I'm saying. On my way back in the crib, uh-huh. somebody moving. You know what I'm saying? Somebody moving in. So I'm like, okay, being the gentleman again. Said, little dude's finna come out. Shit, I had to yield. I'm old. OG. Okay. I, I held the door for him. Said, you gotta come on out. Nigga, as soon as he came out, I went in the building. The okay. dog is coming out the the crib Who to my right. <laughs> I gotta go up the stairs. So. Right. This is not. We always. I be telling motherfuckers this shit is never script. This one hundred. You know what I'm saying? All cloth, straight, straight, different fabric though. I mean, actually, we keep it one hundred. Okay. So the motherfucker start walking up on me, and the little dude who I said come on out. I think yeah, he had to come out, and okay. I went in behind him. And when the dog started coming out the crib, they had the door still open. So he was still, somebody was standing right there that was a, a kid. Man, this motherfucker dog just started walking slow up on me. I don't know. I don't, Ski just stopped just because I seen him coming. I could have kept on, on my damn business, but I looked at the dog, and then I heard him start growling. Right. Nigga, like, he smelled me first, then started growling. Nigga tried to jump up on me. I'm like, no, sir. Straight dabbed on his ass, like, straight. <laughs> Who yeah, I might have, bro. With my feet. What kind of dog was it, bro? It was a mix with a pit and some other motherfucker looked like Oreo. Look like okay, so it's black no, and white. Black and white. No. Okay, you could tell he was an older dog, but bro, he tried to jump on. He jumped up on me. He jumped up on you, nigga. Like yeah. you got scars, it's like you got attacked by a goddamn bird, dog. Nigga, I'm gonna push, kick the dog Who back. Fell, fell running up the stairs. No, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Grabbed the railing, came on the round on my floor, then looked back and they had grabbed one. But I hollered out though. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey! Who like, let the dogs out? Tragic moment, dog, but real shit. Then I go in the crib, I'm dripping blood and shit right here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then I, I'm working. I'm like, why my motherfucking wrist feel? I'm like, bruh. This ain't from Boop kicking me out the bed either. Okay. I'm like, bruh. Damn. Then I hit this motherfucking score. Yeah, dog, that's what I'm saying. Well, I'm going to take some B-roll for y'all, man. Cause. Time to go. Ski say it's time to go. He got bit by a damn dog. Boo. Man. Boo back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Put it out there. She said she got bit before. I ain't having that shit on my watch. So I'm just like, okay. I appreciate you putting me on game. Let me know how it is and what. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, yeah, bro. They was moving and it's just too much shit. And I was on the clock. Yeah. So, nigga, I get back. I'm shaking like motherfucking booty meat in that motherfucker. <laughs> up. I'm like, man, let me get the ace bandage and shit out Vaseline real quick. So, I get back on the clock. I'm like, bro. I tell, I call her and she say, you playing. I'm like, no, sir. I'm not playing. 
But that shit crazy. You call the front bro. desk up? Nah, bro, but I. You ain't press I, charges? Black she, Lives Matter, dog. We did put in an incident report. I say, I, I say, check this out. I ain't signing no motherfucking incident report because, yeah, we call. They know what happened. It's been reported. I don't know if they informed the people that they had a dog, per se, because the way they was talking, they was like, they they either hit them up and they said, that's not their dog. Okay. <laughs> well, that motherfucker been nursed since that day. It's been there. Yeah, yeah, bro. So I, and I told the girls and I told boo, I'm like, yeah, isn't some new people, new dogs in this for, you know what I'm saying? Nah. Yeah, you gonna have to go ahead. You have to start carrying the burner out the crib with Bruh. you, just so nigga. When and you Boo come got- back, you might have to up the burner and, and, and murk that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying, Mike Vick style. Let Bruh. me not say that. That was wrong. I'm sorry, Mike Vick. You know, that's my nigga. Yeah. Flat out, he shouldn't went to jail that long. Yeah, bro. I I just grew up around too many dogs. I ain't. Mm-mm. We not finna do that. But nah, like I was saying, just uh So every time you walk in the crib, you gotta be nervous and hope this dog ain't out here. Nah, every time I walk in the crib, nigga, I double look now. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Cause I ain't opening that door again, that motherfucker coming out. Like they done, they done moved in, it's official. But I see them still take the dog and shit outside. And I'm like, nah, bro. Hell nah, Who dog. Who said that motherfucker big? I said, yeah, he is big. Double stuff Oreo over there, nigga. Quit playing. Straight up Ooh, territory that's too. Dog man. Dog. Yeah, man. But uh, yeah, me and Boo's over there conversating about the nine for profit and shit, man. But that's one of the things that I'm embedded in though in my uh in my young ones though. Being right. a gentleman, walking pe- women, other people across the street, bringing in groceries, opening doors. You know what I'm saying? Walking on the right side of the street where the street is and let everybody else on the inside. Real gentleman shit, though. You open the door for boot? Hey. The car yeah. door? All day. Straight up? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Keep it 100. Okay, yeah. Wife, I ain't I ain't hit it a couple of times yesterday. Yeah, I don't, I don't you know really what I'm be saying? on it. You was really in a tight space, though. She said, don't worry about it. I was like, okay. I feel like I'm disrespecting her women's rights. You know, they fought to be independent for so long, so you open your own damn door. Motherfucker, girl, you know what I'm somewhere they wait. They just look at me, motherfucker, like, what they doing? <laughs> How they waiting? But, uh, that's <laughs> what's up, though. Shit crazy, though. Stay got bit by a stinking ass dog today. Son. That nigga got bit by a motherfucking dog. I'm a, like I said, I'm going to show y'all, nigga. Yeah. This shit crazy. Let's get into this motherfucking... Uh, What's your Newfound discovery. Mm. The motherfucking fire is news in America right now. Mm-hmm. It's going down, Ski. Okay. Uh, they saying Beethoven Black. Woo. Twitter went crazy. Instagram went crazy. Facebook went crazy. That motherfucker broke the internet. I broke think. <laughs> For real. Straight up. Shout out to Uncle Tovin out here. Man. You know what I'm saying? Is it true? Is it true? Man, motherfuckers better do the research. Oh. Gotta do your research. Uh. Beethoven research. Ooh. Beethoven Black Black Lives Matter. You know what I'm saying? Man. Straight up, Ski. Flat out. So, like, what this do for the, the black community right here, dog? Hey, like... It's crazy because if you if you probably thought that he was Caucasian. That's how they made the scene. In the Caucasian. It's people, another mind trick. They somebody had put up that let that really let us know what type of music they been. Yeah, hold on, <laughs> so, let's get this shit off real quick. Hey. Y'all ain't really dog. Unk out here doing big things. Yeah. Damn. Hey, so nigga, we got Beethoven now. Yeah, we just stole somebody from him. Hey, so I know Zaytoven. I know he got something to say about that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I might have to do the Googles on how he got his name. Shit, 
Yeah. Now we know. Shout out to Jose, nigga. For real. But hell no, nah, man. Niggas was motherfucking on it, nigga. I say <laughs> what? <laughs> Niggas was dancing this shit. Motherfuckers was putting memes with it. I'm like, ah, oh, Turning shit. heads, breaking necks. Niggas in the car, motherfucking bumping Beethoven, nigga. What you had, They had Brian, nigga. Uh-huh. <laughs> They had took Brian nigga and put that nigga listening to some motherfucking Beethoven nigga. Ah yeah 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 yeah. I said I, he was going ham too. <laughs> he was going ham like he was super ham. Oh uh, man, I said fuck nah, dog. Yeah, they were. Niggas is going crazy. Hey, Take Lud- that shit from the tin out. Ludwig Van Beethoven was of African descent. Uh huh. And the truth of his ethnic origins the fuck is he talking about? was covered. <laughs> and I said it like that, nigga, for a reason. For a reason, nigga. nigga. Origins on your oh, ass. Somebody God. dug Damn. it up. Ethnic, nigga. The Take fuck? it from the top, Hell nigga. No. One more bit. Ludwig Van Beethoven was of African descent. And the truth of his eth- ethnic origins was covered up Hunting through a mixture of white powder. Worn on his face when out in public, the use of body doubles for portraits and Eurocentric historians hiding the truth of his genetics. Damn, bro. That's crazy, man. His origins, nigga. Fuck organs. The fuck is he talking about? Stop playing with him. Straight up, man. Shout out to the Kings, man. Shout out to the Kings, man. You know what I'm saying? We out here doing big things, man. And yeah, we finna see it. Yeah, I, I am, I'm gonna be quiet because I'm gonna have to give me a t-shirt with my nigga Bates holding on that bitch. Straight up. For real. <laughs> but uh, let's get some of this damn music out the way, man. You know what I'm saying? We got some new music. We got a lot of new music. John Legend dropped a project called Bigger Love. Bigger Love. Bigger Love. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, You got Tiana Taylor dropped the album. Okay. Flat out. Um, who else dropped the I album? seen the video. You got my nigga T. Wale. I... You got my nigga Wale drop some shit. That shit hard, Ski. Wale drop some shit. That shit hard. It's a couple of tracks on there I don't fuck with, but that shit hard. Shout I'm out to let you... DC. Yeah, I'm going to let motherfucking Ski check some shit. of this Wale out real quick. We quit. coming back. Real song. This is right here. That shit on with boo in the car, nigga. Yeah. Why you blowing the stogie, she nigga? She gonna say take it back. <laughs> Start that over. Start that over. Yeah, dog. Shout out to Wale, man. Okay, man. That shit is fucking perfect. Time, Watch your right yeah, yeah. That's perfect right there. Okay. But we got some controversy. Shit. Shout out to Boosie. Your man, boy. I've been bumping that Boosie. You been bumping that Boosie? Yeah, he got the quarantine album of the year for me. Your boy got beef, Ski. Who got some beef? J. Cole. Real beef with a female artist activist. Okay, well, let's keep here. Y'all know y'all can't hear none of this. Basically, she was saying, nigga, that um, this nigga, the celebrities and the you know what I'm saying, the rap niggas need to come out and speak out. Ah, okay, you know what I'm saying, because they got a voice, because they got a voice. Okay, yeah, this okay. is my nigga J. Cole response. Do I make you horny, baby? Oh Niggas be God. thinking I'm deep, intelligent, fooled by my college degree. My IQ is average. There's a young lady out there, she way smarter than me. Ooh. I scroll through her timeline. I feel faker than snow on the bluff. Maybe because we done annoying, doing enough. But yeah, that uh that's J. Cole response to no name saying that uh, you know what I'm saying, rap niggas need to speak out and all this other type of shit. And um, you know. Okay. Flat out. Mm-hmm. If you ain't heard it, you can find it anywhere, I'm pretty sure. Okay. But y'all heard the beginning of it, so you know how it started. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, we can't play shit right now. We still uh, looking into radio licensing so we can bring the music back how we used to do it. For sure. Flat out. <laughs> but uh, what you think, man? Yeah, I like that. Is she, is she wrong for motherfuckers saying niggas ain't speaking out? What's your profanity? Nah, she ain't wrong. I'm just saying you kind of got to. You could just, 
you got to be more detailed with you saying. Like, just say you, we need more. Don't just say they not doing it because some are doing it. So get a motherfuckers recognition that are doing it. And that way they could probably get others to do it. Celebrities, artists, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm like, now she talking about my nigga Cole. Fuck you mean? My nigga walk through Fergus. I mean, yeah. can't fit. What you what see that's 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 the thing. They might want they may want it to give her a little buzz for somebody that do got a voice that's big, I heard, for the people. Yeah, she I mean she big. No, nah, I'm saying but she was speaking on J. Cole though. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I said Well no, she sense. wasn't really speaking to J. Cole. She she didn't say J. Cole's name, I don't believe. She was just saying like artists and rap niggas. Okay. And J. Cole, you know what I'm saying, responded. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He took it on himself to to his side of the story. Gotcha. And he said he went down the timeline and see who she mad at. You know what I'm saying? But I feel you though. Hey, maybe I feel like I ain't doing enough, man. Straight up. The Snow boot. on the Bluff. J. Cole. Check that out. Now it was also Snow on the Bluff. I uh Okay. It was also some Drake that slipped out, busting rhymes, but my nigga Big, Big Zeke said they deleted it. I'm gonna try to see if I can uh, pull it up. Did you listen to it, Ski? It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. I saw the text too. And you ain't listen. Fuck. Man. That nigga's tripping. You out here motherfucking goosing, bro. That's why I say that was, that was hey, a quick let loose. Me tell you, it was hard. Flat out. And I did up. a I did a poll in the Instagram motherfucking stories. And like ninety eight percent of y'all said that it wasn't it wasn't a leak. Like it was meant to come out. But since they took it down, I'm rolling with it. It was a, a leak. leak. Yeah. Damn. Well he had a verse on her or he did the chorus? Uh Bust. Bust had a verse on her. Okay. Yeah, that was a leak. Yeah. That bitch gone now after the song was called Stay Down. Yeah. But uh, let me see if I can find it somewhere else, but my nigga B Z say it's gone. Damn. It's gone. Uh uh. I don't know, this might be it. Exclusive. I wanna be together. When they say yeah, that they know somebody better, I just hope you stay down. Uh, I just hope you stay down. Hard. I know it's hard to trust me. All this money got my baby mama still trying to fuck me. I just hope you stay down. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, this is Happy real Father's shit. Day, nigga. Hey. Hey, nigga, what the fuck is y'all niggas talking about, dog? Okay. Yeah, that's a 10 plus from Skate, nigga. Flat out, all this money got my baby mama still trying to fuck me. I just hope <laughs> you stay down. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, my nigga Buster had bars. So let me see that shit to my nigga Big Zeke, nigga. They waited for, man, stop playing this shit. Well, I can't get mad, motherfuckers, for not putting out their crap when they don't put it out. Well, man. We should have been hurt there. That was some fire right there. That was there. some fire, yeah. boy. Yeah. That need, I, I was like, man, if it's leak, then he should just go and drop it. Because that's what Drake usually do with leak records. Who bust the fuck with? I don't know who bust the fuck with. Well, Buster, shout out to Drake Buster over y'all, man. got his own label. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Because he got that one fat nigga that sound like Biggie on this shit. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man. Shout, shout out, out to, to Buster Rhymes, man. Shout out to the Kings. Shout out to Drizzy. Dropping that fire, nigga, in uh, the month of June, goddamn me, for real, for real. Flat out. Hey, we got to uh, shout out Nephew, too. Y'all remember Nephew? Black man. You remember Nephew, Ski? You know yeah. We played that nigga song for an intro that had uh, somebody had redid. He broke the internet, too. Hey, the nigga got to deal with Warner Brothers. Okay. Flat out. A record deal. So, uh, shout out to little bro, man. Shout out to Nephew. Uh, flat out. I hope they let my nigga come out with some shit, man. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. I thought you was finna say Disney, but you said Water Brothers. Water, Water Brothers. Brothers. Yeah. Okay. I just hope you stay down. Shout out to the fathers, man. It's Father's Day month again, 2020. Y'all listening to Urban Access right now. Okay. Shout out to my nigga Big Zeke. 
Shit, I hope you 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 cranking that motherfucker for real, for real, cause that's the vibe right now. Flat out, man. Um, we gonna get into Father's Day, and we gonna start it with my nigga Et. Put this up. This gonna look. This gonna look better for y'all. This gonna answer better. Don't believe everything you feel. Oh. This deep, y'all. Pay attention. You feel. Don't don't do it. So I'm not gonna go. when I'm feeling a certain way about C. I don't have any evidence. Why am I even going to bring that to him? Because if I bring something to him that's not evidence-based, guess what I'm doing now? Oh, man, watch this. I'm going, y'all. This is it. Watch this, see? The very thing that I'm accusing you of, if I bring you feelings with no facts, I'm about to actually create the very thing that I'm afraid of. Bar. I'm, come on. I don't know if y'all Let it sink in. So if I don't trust CJ, but he's not done anything that's not unworthy of me trusting him, when I bring to him, I don't trust him it, because my feelings told me it's something spooky going on. It's something I don't really understand. I was, this, is, this ain't right. I was watching something the other day, and my man thought his girl cheated on him, and his whole conversation was about, can I trust you? You know, you got to be honest with me. I'm like, yo, see, you didn't even see her do anything. You just made an assumption based on something you saw, and then you told somebody, and they reinforced what, they, what you told them they saw. Right, right. And then now when you see your girl with my man or around him, you saw that, and it doesn't exist. So I'm trying to tell you, when you bring, oh, see, I don't trust you. If C didn't do nothing for me not to trust him, when I bring to him, I don't trust him. I just created, in my mind, my narrative, I just created what it was I said I didn't like about C. And that was the fact that he didn't trust me. But he didn't do anything not to trust me, but I made that narrative up. Right. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my energy, I'm going to use my resources, I'm going to use my time to create what doesn't even exist. So Ooh. do me a favor, get out your feelings when it's a factual situation because you cannot believe everything you feel. You can't believe everything you feel. Flat out. Now that's deep, Ski. He said he ain't even going to trust him before you even get to him. Exactly. So it brought me to the women's intuition, little, little, little thank you thing, right? Okay. So once a woman's so-called intuition kick in, intuition, let me say it right. That nigga's tripping. Once they kick in, she got to find the facts to prove it. That's mm -hmm. basically what he's saying. Right. You know what I'm saying? So once a motherfucker see you on the phone with somebody laughing and then you tell them it was somebody else, they don't believe it. That's when that starts. Because now I'm finna look through your phone. Mm -hmm. I'm finna do whatever I gotta do. Even if we go to a Christmas party and it's a girl that you work with that you give a hug and y'all laugh. That's the bitch. Mm -hmm. Everything is gonna be proof after that. Right. The proof is in the pudding from there. Exactly. Shit. But that's what I'm saying. I'm only giving women like 50% on the intuition shit. Cause they, they, because half of the shit be shit that don't even be nothing. And they going off of what they see. Right, but you got to prove it. And not what they feel. <laughs> yeah. Because you ain't felt it yet. No, they felt it. That's why they're trying to prove it. Right. Oh, you said yeah. you're giving them half right. off. So it's like I think, and then once I think, I have to make it real. You know what I'm saying? What? A that shit crazy. Yeah. So it's like, with fathers, I feel like a lot of women don't really know how niggas feel. They don't. I know they don't want to give them, you know what I'm saying, sympathy and empathy. Because we be talking about that at the gig, because I just, I'm a realist. We could say fuck the sympathy or the empathy, but like how you I think they don't want to the give gig, us. Nigga, you work from home, nigga. No, that's just a little coaching we be talking about. Oh, like okay. saying have both of them sometimes. You know what I'm saying? For the customer type shit. Yeah. Okay. But I ain't going to say they, want, <laughs> they don't want to have hope for a nigga, but they don't want to most definitely, and I agree, don't want to give a man no excuse. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's kind of like you said, shit, I'll give you that 50. But that that's just off the strength of, the reason I'm giving you the 50 is a fact, though. So right. I guess once they understand that, they accept that 50 and keep it moving. Right. I yeah. mean, because if you put it in a, a baby father's perspective, right? Right. It's like you say, 
yo, I know I'm supposed to get them. I can't get them. Mm-hmm. That intuition is going to be on you bullshit. Right. Flat out. So then what they do is they lurk social media. Mm-hmm. They see if you take a picture somewhere. They see if you put up a video somewhere. Mm-hmm. And it's like once they see that, it's like, oh, yeah. I knew you was bullshit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Anything that they see is going to create that narrative that you really don't give a fuck. Right. Because that's what they think. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, shout out to my nigga E.T., man. He be hitting, hitting them, uh, them, them hard. deep thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, he be hitting them hard, dog. For real. Early in the morning, too. Flat out. Got to bump that E.T. Nigga, I'm talking about six something in the morning, seven in the morning. That's that inspiration wake up. Oh, yeah, nigga. Be uh, inspired to expire on y'all left. What the fuck is he talking about? For sure. What, uh, what you got for the fire? Man, where the fuck is the bun pop truck at? <laughs> the bun pop truck bullshit. Right. Talking about it had to make it stop this on its way. Yeah, okay. Nah, uh. What you got for the fathers, man? What's your, what's your thought on fatherhood, man? I mean, fatherhood. I said, damn, I said fatherhood. Fatherhood and, um, uh, what, um, what do you feel like uh, you can improve on as a father too? So that's two things. Let me know what let me know what you need want the fathers to know. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's For encouragement uh, or okay. whatever. Okay. Whatever you want to come on. Okay. And then let me know how you think you can improve as a father. Uh the improvement. And we can start there for his ski. Improvement. Okay, you starting with improvement. Okay, bet. Yeah, I just say. Mm. Mm, that's a good one right there. Yeah, dog. It cause a lot of that's a the good thing right be there. a lot of niggas don't. You want to give your a lot of people. Period. Don't look in the mirror. Right. A lot of people very seldom look in the mirror, so it's okay. hard to self assess. Which, um, you would definitely make yourself a better person if you self assess more often. Right. On some every day, every week type shit. Like definitely every week, I self assess. I reanalyze. Mm. You know what I'm okay. saying? My situation. Me, you know what I'm saying? Everything around me, because as a man of the house, right? I feel like I control that. I'm gonna just say more parent involvement for us, uh, you know, trying to figure out as of right now what's their next uh stepping stone as far as uh, them the feeling themselves, yeah. So, put more time into. Making them understand, you know what I'm saying? I recognize that it's time, you know. So more or less, just telling yourself, double down on showing them the, uh, showing them the way. You never stop, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying the continuation of doing it a little bit more. So if I'm trying to establish L to, you know what I'm saying? I see she may be a little shy in this area. Expose her a little bit more in other areas where you know. I could I could probably bring it out of her, but if I don't, I'm a show the way where she gonna show me she's felt that she could uh do this or do that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so basically what you're saying is strengthen the soft spots. Yeah, cause it's cause they're getting older, and I'm and I'm speaking currently like 2020 right now, moving forward from where I came, where they at now, and where are we trying to go, basically. Right. So yeah, just. Don't keep the soft spot soften. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't. Nah, we we gonna we gonna keep them on chill. Right. But we gonna uh, we gonna be at a bad ease. Slowly rehabilitate them. Yeah. To where they're stronger. Yeah. Okay. So more involvement just may mean just that focus on them. You know what I'm saying? For us doing things, talking to them, letting them talk to. This person per se Letting them see you interact You know what I'm saying For us involvement Where They understand They life most definitely matter As if like He got the proper tools The preparations And he's showing me the way Right 
So just a little bit more And that's just like More with the muscle I don't care if you gotta do this Do that I'm all about Nikes You know what I'm saying We we just gotta do Flat out And that's just a message uh, For the fathers out there But On that tip Right I just them? I just flat out tell them uh, If you did have a father And you could Somewhere remember some memories Or whatever or some things that he showed you, he taught you, or just put you on game, and then you had children or you had a child or whatever. I just say don't never forget where you came from, but most definitely be up to date with even what's in, what's the latest and the greatest, but don't forget where you come from because what you're doing is you're following footsteps from father to father. To you know what I'm saying, all of this is being passed down, right? So most definitely, just be firm, you know what I'm saying, with your footsteps, but at the same time, don't forget where you come from and just be up to date, you know, open minded, as if like it may be something that's being done now in today's society, uh, uh-huh. where you may need to be up to date. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about basically just setting a good example and not being stuck in. The old ways You know what I'm saying But Right Put good footsteps now Positive footsteps in For them to follow Basically And yeah. that's just men on Young men You know fathers That got men now You got the little girls It's just like Shit You it's gotta work way. extra harder Shit It's the same way Like yep. And um Yeah that's my That's my thing With the fathers Like You gotta uh Find a way, man. Be an example yeah. in every case. So if you got daughters, you need to be an example of what they need to be looking for. Because that's what they gonna that's what they gonna gauge to choose a man. Right. They gonna engage the interaction that they have with their father or what they have seen from men. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like all my niggas out here that be taking the kids. To go see the motherfucking side bitch And then you taking them back to the main crib To spend the night and shit like that Like that shit gotta die Yeah that shit big big You know what I'm saying yeah. All the niggas that just pop up And buy shit And disappear again That shit gotta stop Because your daughter Or you know what I'm saying Your daughter or your son Your daughter gonna feel like This is the type of man she look for As long as a man buy me shit I'm good Right Your son gonna be looking at it Oh okay this how I treat women. As long as I buy that bitch some shit, she good. What's right. your profanity? Yeah, stay woke. Flat out. And you know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like, give a nigga five years, right? Right. If you got a nigga on child support and he want to be in his kid's life, give a nigga five years. Put him on child support for five years. If after five years, this nigga been consistent with seeing his children, uh, fucking with his children, Discuss with the nigga on how to stop the child support and work out an agreement with the nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's other ways to skin a cat. Like, that shit go three ways. Child support gets some. The government, basically, is child support gets some. Medicaid or Medicare, or whatever, whichever one they got, goddamn me. They right. get some. Right. And then you get the leftovers. So nine times out of ten, if you work something out, you can end up getting more. Then both of y'all are putting in Or the man is putting in And you receiving Right You know what I'm saying And get off the dumb shit Flat out like Yeah they ain't got a new motherfucker now So get off the dumb shit Flat out yeah. Like they, like it said shit It's already in their head For us to Just be down So it's like shit Niggas just gotta be more uplifting with themselves and don't rely, you know what I'm saying, on a woman to be uplifted, especially if it's in between the children. It's like, man, just just find a way. Just be consistent for real. That's the uh, the main key or whatever. Because I know for ski when shit don't go as it was supposed to go. Uh, you know what I'm saying And I know she just been consistent And I'm just saying like shit Just say It may be a, a, a busy day or something For the girls 
and that's just off the muscle what what they got going on in their life and if i don't talk to them i'll be like damn you know what i'm saying but at least they know nigga they talk to me every day you know what i'm saying yeah and they then, know that though yeah and then that's another thing like to my niggas that like chose to separate right mm-hmm you can't be in-house dad and out-house dad. There's going to be some shit that you're going to have to give up. Yeah. But that's your choice. Right. That so, come with it. Yeah, it come with it. Yeah, it come with it. So it's like you can't expect everything that you would have being an in-house man and you an out-house nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you get that when you get your time. You know what I'm saying? Right. When you get your time, just make sure you trash that. And make sure you know what I'm saying, you actually spending that time. And then on the other end, like if you have the opportunity to get them, get them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Flat out like it'd have been plenty of times, you know what I'm saying, baby mama hit me up like, "Yo, you need to come get her cuz she getting on my nerves and I'm not Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like when Lamar was bad at school, and then like, right, she stay with me for weeks, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't just pass that opportunity by. Like, take that opportunity. Consider the opportunity, not a motherfucking some bullshit. A lot of times, us as fathers can get caught up in some petty shit because we get hit for child support too. But yeah. it's like, take them opportunities, bro. Yeah, and that's that's the uh, the straight cliche route, like flat out. If you if you could be there, be there. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of right. like Ill said, shit. It's already a separation. So when it is time to be there and you can, just go ahead and accept the challenge. You know what I'm saying? And roll with the punches. Because it's times like that where it may be needed, per se. And then it's times like that where if you don't, then you the one missing out. So you can't really complain about it. So, right. he, so like he said, if it's if it's available for you to be there, shit, be on the front line. Just be ready. Yeah, be ready. Like, don't go straight to petty. Don't go straight to I can't do it. And then, if you're in a relationship with a female that like that's like, nah, I don't think you know what I'm saying. How we gonna do that? How we gonna work that out? Like, they can't just come over here like that. Like, then you need to reevaluate your relationship. Right. <laughs> straight up. And if it's important, you gonna do what you gotta do to make it happen. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, you but know? at that point, you gotta you gotta reevaluate yeah. the relationship because it's like now, okay, now you coming between me and my kids. Like, if they gotta come over here and post up over here, then they need to be able to come over here and post up over here. Right. Flat out. So that's what's gonna happen. If you got a problem with that, then we just don't need to be together. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously, you don't understand what's going on. Right. Flat out, it ain't it ain't reaching you. Hey, as so. far as personally, uh, I don't know. Yo, Mac, I just need to be. Um, yeah, so you might. I feel like I need to voice. be more successful. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I want the I want all my kids to see their father as a uh, like a business owner. And I kind of went that that way with the girls because I know nigga, I was finna be doing all type of uh parent involvement and shit this year at the school. And I was before that, you know what I'm saying? Right. But this was more or less in paper where they got my background checked. So this allowed me to go on field trips and just everything, whenever I want the nigga, yeah. whatever. But the COVID, man, that's what I'm saying. I ain't letting the COVID stop up more apparent involvement. I just looked in the mirror like that's why I said shit. Yeah, the COVID may did that for us. They facility wise for us me being there being more apparent involved but i gotta find another way where i see i gotta show on the light because it's that time shit they they on that level where shit she might say next year she want to start playing soccer right i gotta be there shit i play yeah. soccer you know what i'm saying elementary school but i ain't letting covid or my work schedule or whatever and that's what i'm saying if it's a will it's a way so Niggas just put the muscle into, you know what I'm saying? Just giving them giving them the tools. But uh yeah, man, I need to be more successful. You know what I'm saying? I right. want them to see me uh and they they mother owning our own business. Owning our own business, you know what I'm saying, creating our own wealth. And um 
I don't know man I always want to be more Attentive Yeah You know what I'm saying And I gotta get prepared For the support Like Michaela just graduated high school So she gonna need a lot of help Man Which makes me want to get my connects up Because if I got connects I can help her more You know what I'm saying Like Those are the things That I be concentrating on Yeah that's what I'm saying You know what I'm saying Like I'm 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 on Motherfuckers got the tools Right You got you got younger girls Right I got older girls Right And one younger girl Okay You know what I'm saying But the oldest Like I have to be ready for If she says she wanna do this right. I'm in a financial position To say okay You can go do that I got you That's what I'm saying You know what I'm saying Like that ain't Two things for Ski When it come to women And, and my girls it's a damn good feeling for you to tell them I got you, and then it's also even with selling them you got you. They get that ideal in their head when you say that they know you good. You know right. what I'm saying? And also, it ain't no other better feeling in the world just knowing if they ask children out here these days about their fathers, or even if you just ask them a question and their response is my daddy. My, da- you know what I'm saying? Where the answer is my daddy. Like that shit feel good for a nigga for real, especially if you know, bro. You don't need no visa. Yeah. No five. Like you don't need shit to validate your first and last name and who, who you are to the kids, meaning fathers. You know what I'm saying? Dads, pops, whatever, right. bro. That they that's 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 what I'm saying. Like I may be speaking a little bit personal. But I'm I'm speaking facts though, so shout out to all the fathers, shout out to the kings out here. Oh, for sure, man. Hey, like, and if you ain't in your kids' life, man, find a way to get in them. Find a way to get in their life, man. Like for real. And I shout tell out. you how close kids pay attention to. You. This was probably two years ago. Nah, matter of fact, this was like three years ago. My routine was, you know, what I'm saying, getting up, getting the girls together. Take them to uh, school They say Alright dad They gotta be here by 9 You know what I'm saying And you know Ski shit I'm getting them up Getting them ready I'm early bird anyway But I'm kinda Letting them eat a little breakfast Watch a little TV Bullshit You know what I'm saying yeah. But I had to Critique And respect The time For their education You know what I'm saying Now With me getting up And getting them ready um, damn, I forgot what I was finna say. Oh, this is <laughs> shit. Uh, damn. Was you getting up? I you forgot. getting up ready for school? Yeah, for school. All right, Dad, they got to be here by nine. You let them watch TV. Eat, eat, yeah, I was finna eat go. Eat all the zuzus and wham go to a, shit. Go to a hole. And play with the Barbie dolls and shit. Yeah. Yeah, what after that? Just, you don't know? I don't know. But I was going down. strong with it, though. Man, if you ain't in your kid's life, be in your kid's life. Uh, baby mamas, if a man want to be in his kid's life, let him. Please. We need more of that. We need to stop the petty between the baby daddies and the baby mama. Niggas, I know you mad. They hitting you up for your child support. But uh, focus on the children. You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, that's what I, I remember now. Okay, what's up? That nigga's tripping. This our kids pay close attention to you. And that's why you most definitely is a reflection. Three years ago, getting up, getting the girls ready and shit like that, I used to always tell their ass, hey, Ed, hey, I, y'all good, y'all ready, y'all sit down, all right, daddy finna hop in the shower real quick and we gonna get ready to roll. Motherfucking, uh, Lyric Natal, uh, gee, mama, uh, see if my daddy okay, cause he said he was finna hop in the shower real quick. And she was like, he might fall. And I'm like, ah, nah, uh, I mean, hop in the shower, me. Uh, get I'm, in. Ju- I'm getting in and out. But it's like, bro, you don't <laughs> never know what you say, what you do, how close attention they are paying. You know what I'm saying? They paying hella close attention to every fucking thing you do, bro. Yeah. So. Yeah, Ill Mac rules. I don't fuck with no nigga who don't fuck with his kids. I don't fuck with dead beasts. If you don't give a damn about your blood, you definitely don't give a fuck about me. 100. Ski, what you got for him? Hey, man, we finna enjoy this weekend. Um, we gonna slide out to pay respects to Pops. Okay, RIP Pops, man. At Jefferson Barrett's. Gonna get up early and do that. Um, shout out to all my listeners. 
that's been following the way we started a whole new chapter we is on 108 what it's 105 105 on y'all ass we ain't letting up so uh i appreciate the subscribers the real listeners that's uh paying attention to all social media platforms keep on the uh look out for the new content uh follow your boy on the gram at dmfm2 uh all my uh essential workers out here on the front line my activists shout out to bovine you know what i'm saying we still got to link up uh me you and ed bovine this nigga said bovine yeah i don't know why we want to call my nigga bovine but shout out to bovine (laughs) nigga respects true activist nigga and artists entrepreneurship nigga you city you see these niggas out here you see they ain't out here uh you city clowning no more we ain't having that shit in you oh uh, yeah man, man uh, that, that shit ain't going down the podcast is now on youtube man so let your peoples know the whole we're trying podcast. to cover we're trying to cover all bases and uh yeah man we on youtube now so make sure y'all tell y'all people man we on youtube uh all the fathers man uh hold your head man it's hard for black men out here black men die uh, uh, I want to say probably 60, 60 to seventy percent before black women. Right. It's because of the stress that we deal with that we that child women don't even know about. So make sure you motherfucking talking to your man and uh, you know what I'm saying take it easy on your man. Uplifting. Yeah. Key word. Because it's hard out here in these streets. Uh, R.I.P. the pops. R.I.P. the motherfucking uh J.W. My pops. R.I.P. the motherfucking Big Zeke Senior. You know what I'm saying? Big Zeke pops. You know what I'm saying? Granddad, if you lost pops. R.I.P. motherfucking Paw Paw, all them. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Uh, R.I.P. the Bodine Pops. We finna listen to some Bodine. This called uh, Catch Up. This called Catch Up and uh, this featuring his pops, man. When you hear the clippers and shit, he said that was his pops cutting his own hair and shit. He was in the bathroom recording his pops. 100. Uh, happy Father's Day, niggas. That's my Shit's been weird and different. Yeah. Mom's still grieving. Daddy never changed. Her eyes like St. Louis weather. Let me explain. Please. One minute they sunny and randomly they rain. She tried to hide the pain whenever she hear your name. Justin ain't been the same, but he never complains. He just keeps to himself more. It's hard to pick his brain. And me, it ain't a day that you don't cross my mind. We don't ball time. Wish you would've ball more time. Just so I could hung with you more, hug you some more. But most importantly, just to say I love you some more. I love you. I see you be too strong. And some more shit So when you fought cancer I knew you wouldn't forfeit But when you broke the news They just cried and kept crying I'm in denial in my mind I said in time you'll be fine Walking around like Everything was peaches and sweet When the doc said you'll die In a year or a week Maybe that was my Only way to keep me from grief Plus the fact that I ain't seen you weep around me Not a drop You took that disease like a G Joking before you cough And then smell cheek to cheek So all those stage four cancer so it was severe I tried to convince myself That you was in the clear It's been a rough year Mom's stress going up and down Damn. Bills floating up to her neck But I won't let her drown Got I've been low-key depressed when this month come around I never knew that a death would be this trouble frowns wow. Been permanent, my grin stayed an end yeah. Your death showed me that some of your friends ain't your friends Fuck. Family just a word with some I cut loose ties We can't even stick together after the blues dry So much I wanna say to you in two rhymes But one song ain't enough for it in due time I wanna thank you for the man that you raised thank Wasn't you. perfect, but no other man can fill your place I remember when you put the gloves on my brother And beat his ass 
last but cried afterwards and said I love you And you die I'll fight him before you let him become A hoodlum or a bum Cause he deserved a better outcome Fuck a job, they don't appreciate worth Fuck. Couldn't even die in peace, still had to get up for work Cause you were stressed about bills Until I said chill Remember when your pops died, that's how I feel But worse, cause you was more involved in my life And everything they said about you was far from hype Because you cared for your people, people. Looked at them as equals, equals. A father figure to kids who wasn't even your sequels My number one fan, man. my right man. hand man. man I told my problems to you cause I knew you understand Man up to your faults, never turn from them never. And all the wrongs you ain't right, I learned from them Shout out to your cappers and employees, shit They checked on us more than your fam and homies did Damn, it's hard to live without you Even with Alzheimer's I never forget about you. Never. I promise, never. I'ma tell all my kids about you. Well, before you died, you told me I'll make it big, and I got you. Got you. And got though you, you won't be here to dig it, some way, somewhere, you're witnessing the spirit. I love you. I can't keep on walking around like I'm doing. I couldn't. I'm not caring about how I look. That's just the devil, cause I'll sick. You know what I'm saying? But Yesterday and today was the best I done felt in a long time. You know what I'm saying? Pete gave me that one little thing that I could sleep on, where it bends my neck up, where the, you know, won't be getting all in my throat. And I was getting to the point, after this last chemo, I feel some deduction. I don't feel that running. I think that's God healing me, you know? You know, when you sick, you can feel it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm encouraged, man. I'm encouraged.